Once again, I apologize for how basic this video is going to be, but this is another review of a Paramount movie, and it seems the only way to get them to not hit me with a copyright claim is to use a static shot of the poster of the movie that I'm reviewing. So because of this, there's two movie companies. Uh, the other one I'm not going to mention, but essentially, from here out, I'm not going to review any other movies because it's not worth it. I'm going to do reviews on movies from companies that actually want their movies to be reviewed. Anyway, with that nonsense out of the way, let's talk about Rings. The original movie Ringu came out in 1998, and it was remade in 2002 for U.S. audiences as The Ring. Ringu is still one of the scariest movies I've ever seen, and The Ring was one of those rare remakes where they actually did a very good job of remaking the film. They didn't just retell the same exact story, they took a lot of the elements from Ringu and changed things up and uh, made it a little bit more accessible to American audiences, but also were able to tell a completely different story so that, much like some other good remakes, you can watch the two back-to-back -back and get a similar but different experience. I was kind of surprised when I heard that they were doing Rings because I thought initially they were going to reboot the series since the last movie came out over a decade ago and then I saw the trailer and it kind of hit me that this was going to be a little bit more of a soft reboot. The vibe that I got off of Rings was that being that the last one was over a decade ago they wanted to update things to now. They want to make it about how Samara would thrive with today's technology and make fun of old technology make fun of that uh, the original was the cursed VHS tape that was passed around. Before I go any further, I want to warn you, there is going to be some spoilers in here, so shut it off if you have to, but it's not going to be anything that's going to ruin your enjoyment of the film. Rings is about a couple, Julia and Holt, and the guy Holt goes off to college while Julia stays home. While he's off at college, something happens, and he stops Skyping his girlfriend every night. So she goes to try to find out what happened, and discovers that uh, he watched this cursed VHS tape, and uh, he's going to die in seven days. She then finds out that his professor was the one who got the VHS tape, and he's been passing the virus from student to student as a way to get it off of him. Normally when I do these reviews, I talk about the good and the bad in the movie, the stuff I liked and the stuff I disliked, but I'm going to skip right to the bad, because I didn't like anything about this. So, what I didn't like about the movie, the opening is horrendous. There's a guy on the plane who had seen the VHS tape, and he, of course, is in the middle of a flight when he decides to tell uh, one of the other passengers that he's going to die any minute. So he goes and hides in the bathroom, and then Samara takes over all the TVs on the plane and comes out and drags the guy into the cockpit and ends up crashing the plane and killing everyone on board in a sequence that is just terrible. Like, I can't think of another word to describe it. It's done so poorly, and it's a lot of quick edits and a lot of zooming into uh, characters' faces, and it's garbage. It's <laughs> flat-out garbage. After the plane crashes, the professor buys that guy's stuff off of his family. And one of the things he acquires is a VCR, and inside is the, uh, the tape. And then he watches the tape, and then it goes from there. As I said, Holt watches it, and then when uh, Juliet comes to visit Holt, this other girl tries to get her to watch the tape, but she doesn't. And then Samara comes out and kills the other girl, and Julia sees this. Like, she sees Samara kill the girl, and then when she talks to Holt and he explains everything to her, what does she do? She waits for him to go to sleep and then watches the tape, which is idiotic. <laughs> So she starts having all the flashbacks and seeing flies and dead birds and all this stuff and then goes to talk to the professor and she explains what she saw on the tape and the professor's like, I haven't seen any of that before. So they go and look into it and they take the, the tape and they transfer it to digital, which you know where this is going to go. <laughs> they transfer it to digital and he starts scrubbing through the footage and he finds that there's a movie inside the movie. So now there's more footage and and they watch that and it unveils this whole extra layer of plot that uh, was previously not in any of the films because no one ever saw the film within a film before because it didn't exist because it's stupid. 
This movie somehow cost $33 million. It looks mediocre at best. And it wasn't like they blew all their money on the actors. Uh, Vincent D'Onofrio is in it, but uh, he's not in it until maybe the halfway mark. And uh, I mean, he's a great actor, but he's not exactly pulling in uh, $20 million. Aside from that, the only other two people I recognized were uh, Amy Teagarden. And I had to look up his name, Johnny Galicki. Uh, He used to be on Roseanne, but uh, more recently he was in the Big Bang Theory. If I didn't know this was $33 million, I would have thought that this was like a low-budget direct-to-video movie. It's that bad. The effects were blatantly obvious CG. You had CG bugs, you had CG blood, what little blood there was. And ever so often, for one reason or another, the movie that you're watching, not the footage that you're watching, but the actual movie would get digital noise. And I know that doesn't cost anything because I've seen a ton of found footage movies that uh, love to use that effect. I'm pretty sure it's a pre-baked effect from uh, one of these uh, FX warehouses. So they just, you know, use sliders to change it ever so slightly. Yeah, I know that definitely wasn't where all the budget went. The last thing that totally stinks about this is there was an overabundance of, not surprisingly, jump scares. Choreographed jump scares that you saw coming a mile away. Julia looks on the floor, and she sees a snake, and then it's really like cable, and she opens a door, and something jumps out at her. And It's the typical, somebody is doing something, and it gets quiet, and then there's a loud noise, and then it goes back to being quiet, and there's a loud noise, and something jumps at the camera. And quite frankly, I am shocked that there was not a Bagul ending, because uh, that seems like the thing that uh, would have just been the icing on this shit cake. Oh, this is a major spoiler, so if you don't want it ruined, then really duck out for this one. What I said earlier that the movie was digitized and you know where that's going, well, it went exactly where you thought it would go. At the end of the film, oh, the video gets uploaded to the internet and it goes viral and everybody sees it and they're, oh my God, what did I just watch? Er, we all have seven days to live. And they did this whole thing where Vincent D'Onofrio was like, you don't understand, you're going to make her more powerful than she ever could be. And that was because they had the file and uploaded it to the internet. And then of course, everybody saw it. So everyone on earth is going to die apparently in seven days. Rings is an awful movie. There's no sugarcoating it. It's got nothing good going for it. It's got terrible performances, terrible CGI, a mediocre story, an overabundance of jump scares, and a plot that you pretty much can figure out as it's going along. There's zero tension and zero surprises. About the halfway point, I wanted to leave. I just, I didn't care what was going to happen to these people because I had an idea that I knew, and then by the end, yeah, I pretty much knew it. Another tremendously bad PG-13 horror film, which is funny because the American version of The Ring was PG-13, but that was before 2004 when PG-13 got completely neutered and uh, they just made things as milk toast as possible. Rings is an awful sequel. Don't see it in theaters and don't see it on video. You're better off just forgetting it exists. It's not even a movie that you can watch to make fun of. There's just nothing there. How bad is Rings? The Bye Bye Man was better. 